is everything that I pulled out of our bin and like I explained in the previous morning basket video this bin lives in our entertainment center so under our TV and all of our materials just go into this bin and we tuck it in there and it's put away neatly uh, no clutter showing in the morning we just pull out the bin and then we can uh, go ahead and choose from the materials that we want to use for that day some books in here have been living in here for a while um, Let's see here. Bella is still enjoying this watch me draw a step-by-step -step drawing and storybook. And um, this is perfect, especially now for spring season. So this is rolling over again. And then our base curriculum. And she's still working on this pre-K course book. Everything else pretty much has changed. So uh, let's get into the morning binder work that we have. Last video, I did explain that Noah is usually asleep for morning basket time, uh, but on the rare occasion that he does want to wake up early, um, I do have a binder prepared for him. coin work uh, the month before last we had uh, coin work and that went along with this poem here that we are still enjoying but uh, previously I had a coin sorting game and so for this month I did find a bingo the printable includes these game pieces here and these match with uh, the game card And as our bingo pieces, we're using real life coins because again, you want to use real life um, scenarios and objects as much as possible. So we will pick a game card, dime. Can you find the dime in our box? And she'll pick out a dime and then she'll go in here and um, find the correct tile that matches this. In the morning is when I do my stretching and so Bella sometimes likes to get in there with me and I found this printable and I just thought it was perfect to put in here. This is stretching with a positive message so Bella will be enjoying that. And then lastly we have a sight word uh, a fun printable from Biddy Beginnings and Bella is working on sight words. I'm sorry that there is a glare. So again Bella is working on sight words but she is not uh, necessarily reading them yet we are first learning how to write them so if you're not familiar in Montessori classrooms children learn to write before they learn to read As children do begin to write it is observed that they independently uh, learn to read from there so there's a whole observation uh, and method behind that sort of order of the practice um, if you want to look into that then of course there are always tons of articles and blogs and resources online but we are using this with the sight words that are included in the printable and i just used this page protector but these are for like um collectible game cards and the sight words fit perfectly in there so we read the sight word together, you. Uh, like I said, we're not focusing on reading, but more we're focusing on building and writing. Finally, the movable alphabet is with wooden letters. I made a DIY version until we can fit the authentic material uh, into our homeschool budget. I have a blog post on how I made this movable alphabet, so I'll link that down below as well. So Bella will use her movable alphabet to build this sight word. Y. O. You. 
Uh, and then down here, again, we'll use a dry erase marker since it is in a page protector to go ahead and write it. Let's get into a few of these binder ring books and flashcard-like materials that we have in here. So uh, we are still continuing with our bilingual flashcards. These uh, pre-writing cards are from the Target Dollar Spot and I found them last year around the back to school time. Hopefully they have those again out this year. These are great cards, so look out for them. Uh, what I love about them is that they give you a guide. So one, two, three. And again, that's perfect for pre-writing practice. We pair these with our sand letter tray, uh, but I also give Noah some Play-Doh and he can mold out the letter, or again, using his finger there to practice handwriting. So these are mainly for Noah. wipe and clean alphabet flashcards from Biddy Beginnings. And I've just put them in a binder ring book because my kids like that. Uh, and then, and these have each an uppercase and lowercase letter for every letter of the alphabet. And these are laminated. So again, you can pair these with a dry erase marker and they are for tracing. You wipe clean and then you can do it all over again. And both of the littles really enjoy these. I love that these are a big size as well. Or compared to our smaller flashcards, they're a really nice size. So this is a great set to purchase from Betty Beginnings, one of my favorite actually in her shop. Here we have phonetic clip it cards and freebies of these are all over the internet but specifically I found these at themeasuredmom.com and I searched high and low for these because these do have realistic or real life pictures images and you guys know uh, how important that is for me. I try to use real life scenarios and images as much as possible. So these we pair with clothespins and it's just pinning the correct image uh, that goes with that phonetic sound so uh, uh. Apple. Why makes ya 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 yarn? F makes the sound f, 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 fish. And these are a great printable. I did first uh, cut them before I laminated them, then laminated them individually, and then cut them again for better durability. And you can also use cardstock to probably make them even more durable. So I am loving these. Else that we're also pairing with our learning resources counter bears are the learning resources uh, three bear family pattern cards and these are great for a pattern and sequencing uh, and that is a beginning math concept to practice um, so if you want to purchase these cards though they only work with the three bear family counters because they have several sets of these counters but specifically you need the three bear family and the reason being is because the three bear counter family is a set of small, medium, and large. And as you can see, you'll need that for these cards. Also from learning resources, alphabet puzzles, and these are magnetic, so you can even use these on a magnetic board if you wanted to. And these are just to build the letters of the alphabet. So let's say, Bella, can you build me a uppercase and lowercase d? A new material to us in the in the classroom is a Montessori hundreds board and I purchased this off of Amazon and it's the board itself and you can use it blank with the tiles completely blank without tiles or you can use this paper as a guide uh, and then with the purchase you also get of course the um, wooden number pieces numbers came in like in a drawstring bag and i didn't like that for sorting or going through the numbers it was too difficult for bella uh, so i found this container at our local craft store and it fits the numbers in there perfectly and it displays them perfectly as well so there are plenty of uses for the montessori hundreds board beginning in the early um, learning so preschool ages and up um, and so the most basic way to use it is just to learn to count um, whether it be that your child needs to learn to count to 10, 20, or all the way up to 100. 
So one, two, three, four, five.